Look at that. How awesome is that? Hello, Svengers. It's me, Svenny McG. Last week was a pretty special week. Coming through town was Richard Cumley, creator of Captain Canuck. I was fortunate to get a chance to meet him, speak with him, ask him a couple questions, and even get these autographed. Now, this one, if you see here, this should look pretty familiar to you. This is the first issue of Captain Canuck. And very thankfully, Richard had it on hand for me to be able to pick up, and he autographed it for me in person. Super cool. However, also available on hand for free is this comic here. This is from Comic House, an imprint of Lev Gleason, in partnership with Paragon Security and Crime Stoppers Toronto. This free comic for Captain Canuck is available, and as you can see, Richard autographed that as well. Love it. But let's jump right into the Rad Zone here in Sault Ste. Marie, where I got to meet and speak with Richard Cumley, creator of Captain Canuck. So Richard, what was the inspiration for Captain Canuck? This is the third time I'm telling you. No, it's okay. <laughs> I don't mind at all. I don't mind. Uh, well, I think the inspiration was uh, my friend Ron Leishman. Uh, he's the one who got me doing this, really. Uh, and his question was, you know, in 1972, um, when I first met him, was there should be a Canadian superhero. There should be a, a comic book series with a, a Canadian superhero. I said, yeah, 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 <laughs> you're right. <laughs> and anyways, we, we talked about it for two or three years before I really started to eat, do something about it. You know, find out about distribution and publishing and all the rest of it, you know what I mean? So, so What was your background before comic books? I ha was a crest designer. I was a graphic uh, designer. Uh, let me see, by that time, uh, yeah, I, I, right out of high school, I was a crest designer. And then I did, uh, I went into, I was doing some illustration too, so I'm all, all just like commercial art stuff. So as Captain Connect grew here in Canada, we've seen uh, some web series, we've seen uh, animations, we've seen comics. Uh, yep. Where would you like to see Captain Connect go next? Well, live action TV series, and we're working on that. So, and that's a, it's a bit of a process. There is there is a, an animated kids series in the works already. But the ultimate goal is to get a good a good TV live action TV series up and running. Is that it's it's in the works, and it's going to take a while. You know, so. that's great. And was that looking to be like on? Uh, it would be on Netflix and CBC and that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Excellent. Uh, yeah. So it's. It, you know, the development has been going on for a little while, but now it's trying to put the pieces together. Who's going to produce it? We've got lots of production companies that are interested in doing it, but getting the right deal is tough. You know what I mean? It's it's a lot more, a lot more wheels and to turn it, you know, or whatever the expression is. You know what I mean, too? Yeah. To get to get it all working, you know what get I mean. Get everything aligned yeah. up and the right cast, the right showrunner, the right writers, all of that stuff. So. Well, even for the web series, uh, the, the cartoon there, they certainly a lot of uh, Canadian talent there. Yeah. And yeah. With Laura Vandervoort and yeah, uh, yeah. No, it was all good. Uh, they, you know, it was well, well received that series. It won an award in the states. Um, yeah, and people still talk about it, still like it. Uh, DVD sales were really, really good with it, so it, it was all good. The the um, <clears throat> the animated TV series, there's one aimed at small children in the works, and there's one aimed at an uh, animated for an older kid audience uh, in development sort of thing. But yeah, but there'll still be lots of books and comics and and other stuff coming out in the meantime well and it's great to see i mean captain canuck here is uh, endured for ages and you know it's always been a a favorite one of the things i'm looking forward to putting together is the captain canuck reborn series that was done in 93 to 96 and that's all going to be put together in one book with some added stuff so i'm i, I feel that that'll that'll uh, turn out well and i think that'll good get a decent audience certainly so that that's the next big that and the newspaper strips going to be put into a, all all the newspaper strip uh, the daily 
will be put in. That was done in 95-96. In so that was going to be collected into a book as well. So those are, uh, I'll be happy to see those in books. Absolutely. You know, collected uh, together. Cause, you know, because really they, they were worked over, over months. And, uh, and then just to see it all packaged together is always quite satisfying. So, yeah, and and for for readers that may not have been able to read it at that yeah. time, it's it's a nice yeah. to have one collection, be able yeah. to grab it and see. Yeah, yeah, it is, and uh, we think we think those two particular books will be fairly well received. So we're thinking that and hoping that. So. Coming here today to the Rad Zone, this is part of a promotion right now. Yeah, it's um, you know, really. We decided we wanted to go visit family all the way in Vancouver because we got family in Manitoba, Alberta, and British Columbia, and uh, and I I knew I, I knew that we would be going to places where there'd be comic book stores, and I wanted to visit them, and then and then that turned into signing at a few of them, and then and then and then and that turned into signing at nine of them in total. And then this is the first one. This is the smallest town we're signing at and the very first town that we're signing at. I noticed that on the list because I saw you're hitting most of the major uh, Canadian cities across the the, west, the yeah. rest of the west here. And, yeah, uh, Winnipeg, yeah. Winnipeg, Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, and there's a few smaller ones like Saskatoon um, is in there. Um, and Nanaimo. Nanaimo is uh, not that much bigger than, than this town. So. Well, we're certainly... Oh, no. Did I say no? Kamloops. Kamloops, Kamloops not Nanaimo. <laughs> I mix up my BC cities all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're very honored to have you come here to Sault Ste. Marie and, uh, well, and well, it, certainly to start your, your tour through here. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we wish you all the best on your trip, thank safe you. travels, and yeah. uh, we hope you have a lot of fun, especially in the coming uh, weeks ahead of you, just to get to see that. Uh, the beautiful prairies and right yeah. through to the mountains. Yeah. No, we're, we're looking forward to that wide open space. Yes. So, I haven't seen it in, long, in eight years. So. Yeah. It would be nice to see that. And, our, and family too. We're very looking forward to, to seeing family again. For sure. Well, thank you, Richard. Really appreciate that. You're very welcome. So thank you again to Richard. Thank you to Comics House. Thank you to the Rad Zone for hosting the event. And I really hope that you get a chance to jump out and see Richard at one of his upcoming appearances. As always, thank you to everyone who's continuing to like and subscribe. It always helps grow my channel. Until I see you guys again soon, I hope you take care and be good to each other. Bye now.